Hey guys, what's up? This is Kyle Barrows, aka the Killo Pillow for ContinuePlay.com, and today we're gonna be taking a look at Gone Home because I have not played it yet. Um, from what I understand, it's an exploration game, uh, and you just sort of look around to find out what's happened to your family and why nobody is at your house when you uh, get home from a trip. Um, so, I'm just gonna click New Game and just jump right on in here. Fulbright Company presents. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets mm -hmm. in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Oh, I don't. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Mm -hmm. Bye. Yes. That over there. Gone home. So I don't know, so you didn't get picked up from the airport, that's that's why, so you could just go home. June 7th, 1995, 1.15 a.m. I was alive in 95. I was alive in 95. I think it was 7. <laughs> oh, God, I'm old. This game is very pretty. Look at this, very well decorated. Turn the lamp on. Does it say where I'm from? What is up with the light there? Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland, uh, June 6th. Alright. Got some uh, lovely rain going on out there. This is a porch. So that you can sit out here and enjoy life. Open the doors of things. Apparently they, they're Christians. They have Christmas lights and... <gasps> oh, I can... <gasps> Yay, Christmas duck! I love little Christmas duck. Yeah, duck butt, duck butt. This is worth six bucks. Get out of here, duck. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. This is like my family's house. Good old Christmas duck. Uh, alright. Can I, like. I want to, like, gently place him. Oh, okay, so shift. No, I won't. Whatever, that's fine. Let's go there. House key done been got. I'm gonna put the Christmas duck back. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I put the duck back! I put the Christmas duck back! Shit! Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone, Mom and Dad, to know. We'll see each other again same uh, someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Now, supposedly, um, this somehow ties into the Bioshock universe. Um, I, I read a theory. I can't recall it completely, but I, I read something. I want these tissues. Gonna put them in a toilet. Whoops. Gonna put them in a toilet. I can't have something in my hand and also open the door at the same time. The toilet is closed. But I put it on the toilet. First place everyone goes is the bathroom. Whoops. Uh, nope. Slide the door, slide the door. Uh, cleansing powder box. Box. Faucet is on, water's working. There's some hand soap. Flushing the toilet. Whoa, that's weird. All right. Lamp is on. See nothing of any interest. That says two something. There's a thingy. There's a th there's things and I can't read them. Okay. Open the drawer. Close the drawer. Do this opposite of amnesia and actually open it correctly. More papers. Shut up, weather. No one gives a damn. Not afraid of this game. Open the drawer. Crouch down. There's nothing in any of these. No! No! There's nothing in any of these drawers worth having. Open this. What's in here? It's a closet. Look at that. Pull the string. Light goes on. Shut the door. I'm in a closet. I'm in a closet. Okay. 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 What does that say? Janice Greenbrier, senior con con conservationist. <laughs> Forestry service. Telemia or Tecalma County Forestry Service? 
Goodfellow High School. And that's all the clues to be had. And spooky closet of spookiness. Alright, let's see. Ooh, skull! Oh, I actually have one of these. <laughs> They're cool. I can put a little candle in it. It looks awesome. One of my trophies. What did I win it for? Track and field finalists. Or track and field finals. First place. I am the fastest of the fastest. That's another old track trophy. Another first place. Oh, that was 91. That was 9. Is that 90? 90? I am the best. Something appears to be creaking. But I'm looking at my trophies. Ghost. Also turning on all the lights. Because they actually come on. That's a vent. Nothing spooky in the vent. Oh, that's locked. <laughs> Dad always did like his privacy when he was home alone and he got a new magazine from somewhere, but no one ever told me about it. Open the drawer. Close the drawer. Worldwide. Oh, oh, hello. Time trip. Oh. Katie's departure, 7694. Flight uh, to. Am oh, I went to Amsterdam for a year. Ooh. Marker is mine. Oh yeah, I can examine things. Get out of here, pen, and shut the drawer. Tired of your thing. Play. Oh, read note. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel's a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is that he had a Nintendo when we were little, and that is the God's honest truth. That is about why you ever hung out with anyone, was if they had Nintendo or something. Phone! Put it back. Phone! Put it back. Phone! Put it back. Phone! Put it back. I'm good. I'm sated. You have several thousand new messages. Sam. Sam. What the Hello. hell? Oh. Oh, it's three. Sam! Three messages. What? Oh, wait. I'm Katie. Beep. We are white bread. Really? I need to talk to you. Oh, oh. I thought dying was happening. Please be there. Sam is a girl, apparently. I'm sorry. Misogyny. Take over. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. I heard this. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay. okay. We Hi. are the white Hi. breads. Bye. We are Sam and Katie Whitebread. Jan and Terry Whitebread. I don't know which is which. But spooky spooky. Ooh. Alright. Ha <laughs> ha! No, wait, 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 wait. wait. Press 2 or M to check my location in the house. Oh. 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 Open. <laughs> Another closet. Pulling the string, closing the door, doing the dance. Okay, let's see. Oh, another note. Shit, I hear something. Welcome, new student. We hope you are excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. I'm the older one. And there I'm I am, in the introducing picture. myself right. to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. You did. I just stood there. That's a family problem. A button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. Aha. The Psycho House Girl. Right. Boxes, televisions, 14-inch television. All right, let's overweight library books. So we're in some kind of psychopathic house, which is not on this itinerary, making it absolutely Dear Katie, easy. so much has changed, even <laughs> just since you've been away. God damn it. So apparently when I touch a note, house, if I cl left-click it instead of putting it back, it gives me something like this. My being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. Yeah, I'll bet it fucking doesn't. It doesn't feel real. No, I can't. 
but I'm not gonna let it phase me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where. Oh, gallivanting! I'll tell it to this journal. Is that what Just you like think? Just like I was talking to you. Is that what you think that I do? I gallivant? Do I go to the backpack, B? I? Oh, yeah, I. Right, journals. Yay, items. I have a key, a boarding pass, and a passport, because I am the best. No? Really? Oh, okay, so not all of them do it. That's not just me being uh, stupid. That would have made me really mad. Hey, it's one of the postcards I sent. Okay, well, put it there. No one freaking likes you or your dumbass postcards. Nope. Oh no, an obituary! Oscar Dark Mason. Oscar Mason, 60, of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 8th, 1933, in a house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County to practice. Quickly became a well-loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside. Service will be held this Sunday at the First Methodist Church from 1 p.m., uh, all were welcome. The survivors include his nephew Terrence Greenbrier as well as, in spirit, the people of Boone County to whom he provided wellness and comfort. That was very nice. It was very, very, it was good. I was in the military, or somebody was. Somebody was in the military. DeSoto. Bloop. I keep forgetting I can do this, Paris. Hi, Mom and Dad and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating Le Petit Avignon and wearing a beret. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company. Since you are my favorite sister, love you all, Katie. Meow. Weird. <laughs> Bloop. Put that in there. Shut up, nature. You know you love my voice. You're like, oh, cow, you can sing. So you know what? Let's make this a horror game. Ooh, the door just shut by itself and I can't open it. Look, no matter what I click. No matter what I click, it just does that. Okay, oh, no spookiness. Oh, the spookiness. Oh, a door. Oh, don't be anything spooky in here, I hope. Hope no spooky ghosts. Oh, no, it's just a spooky typewriter. Spooky typewriter, spooky highlighter. Fuck you, highlighter, I've had enough. Close the drawer. Oh, what did I do? Pioneer, lip, 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 remote, black light, double sided play, headphone out display. What did I do? They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is now the question of specialization, but sur or sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LCD or LDCD player, you'll be glad to know that the Pioneer system. Uh, Pi Pioneer seems to share this particular... Okay. Okay, guy. You, you go on with your three-ring binder. It is mine. Get out of here, three-ring binder. Put it... Whoa! I didn't even know that was a... Okay. Terrence Greenbrier in your secret... I write on what I hope... I write on what I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have had more than a little time to consider my past and my family, and my thoughts have often lingered on your development and welfare in the ten years since we last met. Your marrying gives me much reassurance in this regard. You are always welcome on Arbor Hill, Chablé. I will understand, Chablé, if you find you, Chablé, accept this invitation. Yours very sincerely, Oscar Mason. Was Oscar not dead, spookily? Lee, spookily Lee, are there other ones? I can no, open the draw, do it again. Excellent. Leave it open. Leave father's things strewn about. Screw you, book. What is this? Killing of JFK is here. You've seen the movie Discover the... Blah, 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 blah. Throw it! Alright. 
Switch on. Fan, the fan is switched. Boone County Telephone Directory. It's a folder exam, the form. Insurance property address electrical inspection form. Wiring houses technically up to safety and amputure requirements, however, multiple layers of wiring have been added into the structure over the last hundred years. System is frequently unpredictable, lights blink on for no reason, pressure on the floorboards and door frames disrupts circuits. Alright, so it's just an unstable system because of how old it is and how many uh, times they've had to, like, come in and do kind of jury rig work on stuff. Uh -huh. Nothing in those. Filing cabinet of filing. I can't open that. Your stupid combinations. Alright, back to the spookliness. Spooky parlor of Spookyville. Ooh, the door! Ooh, and the lights make it less scary. Here we are in the parlor. It's very beautiful. It's big. You can see that there's many built-in bookshelves for all your library needs. Two chairs, giant window, so that at any time a monster with long arms can just crash in through one of these and rip you out into the darkness and no one will ever see you again. Grab the tissue box, find a toilet, put them on it, throw it in there, whatever you're going to do with it. Can I sit down? Of course I can't. Examine this. Whoa! Sarah Holst, you are, uh, you are in my face in that picture. Put it down! <laughs> oh, you were a teenage drag queen. Fresh. Okay. <laughs> Readers, tell us about their worst moments. Does anybody still care? Okay, okay that's <laughs> good, good reading. Coaster! Out the window. <sighs> Well then, what is there's a book. Stranger under my roof. Alright, is that like a uh is that like foreshadowing for the fact that the old man was that's how I opened that, so zero four or five one, read the letter. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine. To cut it, or not mine to cut it back to. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequaters from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not rem uh, ruminations on your childhood. If I were, if it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter, I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again, then everybody will be happy. Uh, 0451. Dad sucked at his job. That is what I gleam from this. My father was a bumbling, bumbling fool who just would get sidetracked on his lovely tangents back into his childhood memories because that's all he had left because he was hollow and dead inside from whatever went on here. Uh, 0451, I think. That's not. No! This is going horribly wrong! Alright, there we go. One, open. I am the best. Read the document. Dear Mr. Mason, please find and close your original document and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filled at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our form with this important matter. All right. Oh, uh, oh it's the will. Processing full competence of mine and memory after a full survey of valued items to my name. Following shall hold true on my passing. I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County and that I am unmarried and have no children. I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name nor any creditors. I do hereby bequeath every item of value to which I may of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres, Arbor Hill, um, and any blah 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 to Terrence L. Greenbrier Jr. of Ellis County, his nephew. In the event that said Terrence Greenbrier should predecease me, th then in such an event I bequeath or the be the, beca the bequest to him <laughs> shall fall in the same as bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my name on this, the 13th day of August 1973. 1973, will and testament, I... Okay, so that's the same thing, it's just, uh... Just typed up there. So, wait, but when did he die? When did that obituary say he died? Shut up, house! Spooky hallway, spookiness, blah, 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 obituary. When did it say? When did it say? When did it say? Last month. Doesn't say. Boo! 
Oh, it's this. This is what's making the sound. Click. Pizza box. Why are we sleeping out here? Pizza box. Fuck you, TV. Is there a light switch? There's a light switch. Mm -hmm. A lot of videos going on. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Sam in this book. Sam thought this might help Dad. Making friends, even when you feeling lonely, it's a piece of cake to make friends. Never worry again about having friends. All right, well. You know that feeling? No. Where the first moment you see Shut up, Sam. It's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get oh. to know them. Never any pizza well, for me. Well, there's this girl. Uh -huh. I think she's a senior. Uh, she's, she's usually dressed kind of punk. The X Files. But sometimes I see her in this like army uniform. Love the X Files. She's always drawing in this notebook. Looking so intense. I had no Gundo. idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7 Eleven every Whoa! day after school. Whoa! There's a Street Fighter at your 7 Eleven? That's so awesome. Wasn't there a Street Fighter at my 7 Eleven? Read story The Heaven at the Edge of the World by Samantha Greenbrier. Story The Turtle People. There's turtles there. Captain Al Al Algebra. It looked like algebra, and I was like already done when I saw the word algebra. Looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Somebody she would find, or someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost him at Horse Island. The first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out of the deck of the black ship he yelled to captain algebra because that's his name now you're never gonna find the edge there ain't no paradise and your father were a liar captain algebra yelled back then why do you keep following us you imbecile the first mate yelled out we'll stop you captain black we'll find the edge of the world and you'll see her father was no liar the battle kept going until captain algebra's ship got away now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. That is a very good story for a little kid. That's awesome. That's a lot of fun. Um, I actually think this is this is the game. I mean, if you have enjoyed what you've watched, and not just because I am the best, most entertaining person that has ever lived on this planet, modesty. Mm-hmm. No, I'm kidding. But uh, this is the game. You kind of walk around the house and you're trying to figure out this huge mystery of your family and where they are and what's going on. And, um, I don't think it's creepy. It's not supposed to be creepy or anything. I was just messing around with it. So, um, I think it's a good place to stop. Uh, we've seen a couple of interesting turns, and I've been really super weird in this. Oh, look! He made a little fort! Hauntings of Poltergeist! Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it is spooky ooky. I think these are real books. These, these, uh, for some reason, like, I think these are, like, real books that they put in here. Grab soda! Can't have pizza, I haven't soda. Anyway, thanks guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, I am the Killo Pillow um, for continueplay.com. We've been playing Gone Home this time. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And as always, play on, players.